The Chief Police Commissioner Simon Overland has moved to allay fears of a crisis within Victoria Police. The state's top cop spoke out today after a tumultuous 48 hours that saw one of his deputies ordered out of police headquarters on Friday night. Simon Overland says he was well within his rights to ask Sir Ken Jones to leave and says there's no reason why he should step down. The government has refused to publicly back Simon Overland and the ABC understands the matter will be high on the agenda at tomorrow's Cabinet meeting. The Chief Commissioner is playing down the latest controversy to rock Victoria Police. I do not believe that there is a crisis in Victoria Police. I've heard of people digging their own grave before but I've never until today heard of someone nailing their own coffin lid shut. Simon Overland was summoned by the Premier and the Police Minister late yesterday to explain why he ordered his deputy, Sir Ken Jones, to take immediate leave on Friday. Sir Ken announced his resignation earlier in the week and had planned to finish up in August. But Mr Overland won't say why his term came to an abrupt end. I have come to that view based on uh, my belief that it's in his best interests and the best interests of the organisation. The Chief Commissioner also won't explain why he failed to inform the state government of his intentions. The move has prompted the police union to consider passing a vote of no confidence in Simon Overland. The Chief Commissioner um, has two options in, in our view. He either, uh, he either jumps or he's pushed. Uh, the government have to make a decision one way or the other. And that's the big question that remains. Does the state government have confidence in Simon Overland? The ABC's been told the police minister, Peter Ryan, has received advice that he'll take to Cabinet tomorrow for extensive consideration. It's not clear what that advice is, but Mr Overland believes his job is safe. I don't need to take legal advice to that effect. There is no basis uh, for the government dismissing me. Deputy Commissioner Ken Lay will replace Sir Ken until the position is filled permanently. When it's all said and done, we're here um, to protect the community. Getting on with the job in a cloud of controversy. Anna MacDonald, ABC News, Melbourne.